This is a News 3 Now special report. And thanks for watching this special report from Channel 3000. Let's get you caught up on the latest with the coronavirus pandemic. Starting tomorrow, all non-essential business in the state should end. That is the directive from the Evers administration today, and it is scheduled to last until April 24th, unless he sees a reason to end it earlier or extend it. Yesterday, the governor said this order will close non-essential businesses, but essential businesses can stay open. You are looking at a list of those industries right now, but it includes grocery stores, pharmacies, banks, gas stations, hardware stores, and social services providers. That's not exhaustive, but we do have a link to the entire list online. As state officials make those changes in an effort to prevent this spread, the number of cases keeps growing. Today we're hearing that no matter the, DA, the number DHS is reporting, there are more cases out there that are not being counted. Today DHS previously announced 457, but with almost 50 more in Milwaukee, five more in La Crosse, and the first cases in Iowa and Grant counties, that number just keeps going up. Doctors say it's important to remember this is just the number of people who had symptoms bad enough to get tested. Data from other countries shows about 90% of people with the infection don't have symptoms that require any medical care. There are dire warnings coming out of New York, now the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak in the United States. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says his state now has 25,000 cases of coronavirus, 10 times the numbers in California and the state of Washington. Cuomo says the number of cases in New York is doubling every three days and is expected to peak in two to three weeks. New York is the canary in the coal mine. What happens to New York is going to wind up happening to California and Washington State and Illinois. It's just a matter of time. The White House is ordering anyone who traveled to New York City to self-quarantine for 14 days. UW Health says it does not have enough data yet to determine how COVID-19 impacts women who are pregnant. They advise expecting mothers to treat themselves like they are at risk and try not to leave your home. Right now, doctors say there is not enough evidence to show that a baby can get COVID while in the womb. But once it's born, close contact with an infected person could pass on the virus. There's a number of protocols that OBs have put in place to minimize the risk of that happening. Those are not things that are done routinely in pregnancy, but may involve such things as having to separate the mom from the baby uh, until it's clear that the baby is not infected. If you have questions about your newborn's health during this time, please call your doctor. A local college helping doctors during COVID-19. Madison College officials announced this morning that it will, be, it will be lending 10 ventilators to local hospitals. The donations come shortly after the college donated personal protective equipment, such as gloves, masks, and oxygen supplies to hospitals. With the way things are happening in other places, uh, this type of equipment is going to be in short supply, so we really need to just do our part and make sure that what we have can get out to where it's needed. The ventilators will be donated to St. Mary's, UW Hospital, Unity Point Meritor Hospital, all in Madison, Sauk Prairie Healthcare, and Upland Hills Healthcare in Dodgeville. Local hospitals are reminding residents that they are currently not accepting homemade masks, but there are other ways the public can help during this pandemic. Unity Point Health Meritor officials said the hospital is working to establish a process to collect donations. UW Health is also not accepting homemade masks. They are working with manufacturers that can rapidly produce the masks needed at the hospital. And in a video shared on YouTube, one Unity Point Health employee shared step-by-step -step instructions on how to make these masks, but the Madison locations are not accepting them at this time. Unity Point Health's guide for making homemade masks can be found on our website, channel3000.com. Pressure is building on Governor Evers for a second straight day to prohibit in-person voting in Wisconsin's spring election and require people to cast absentee ballots by mail as the coronavirus spreads. The governor has refused calls to postpone the April 7th election, but said yesterday that he was mulling whether to make the election mail-in only. Governor Evers today issued his executive order, but it is unclear how that order applies to the election. Deal between the Trump administration and Congress on a massive phase three rescue package to cushion the economic blow of the pandemic could be hours away. President Trump touting his administration's work with Congress as lawmakers on both sides of the aisle push legislation to help soften the economic and health impacts. The Senate and the administration say they're close to a nearly $2 trillion phase three stimulus bill. Last night, I thought we were on the five yard line. Right now, we're on the two. Folks at home don't need we're close, they need this done. If passed, the bill would put checks directly into the hands of many Americans 
provide more funding for health care needs and unemployment insurance, and give loans to businesses large and small.